Breaking news now coming in. Poland's president has now come out and said that the missile blast that killed two people near the Ukrainian border appears to be an unfortunate accident and not an intentional attack. Remember, this morning, uh, two people were killed when a missile struck uh, a Polish village not very far from the Ukrainian border, about six kilometers away. That prompted uh, President Zelensky and Ukraine to blame it squarely on Russia. But now, the Polish uh, president has come out and uh, said that this was nothing but an unfortunate accident and not an intentional attack. Sanjay Suri, my colleague, now joins me for more on this. Uh, Sanjay, we had seen uh, that the United States uh, had taken a cautious approach. So did the NATO and G7. They said the preliminary investigation showed that as far as the trajectory was concerned, it didn't look like the missile came from uh, Russia. Now we're given to understand the Poland uh, president has also come to the fore and said that it looks like an accident, not uh, an intentional attack. Well, and the accident, uh, uh, unfortunately, needless to say, would be for it to have been a Ukrainian missile. Because had this been a Russian missile, certainly we would have heard by now and we would have heard very loud and clear from Poland and from NATO that this was a Russian missile into Poland and in effect into the territory of a NATO member. That is something we significantly did not hear. The Polish president earlier said that the evidence is inconclusive. He has now not been definite either. He has said it's an unfortunate accident. It would appear that this is a Ukrainian missile that was either malfunctioning or was uh, diverted off its intended trajectory because we have to remember that a lot of Ukrainian missiles were filed, uh, fired uh, to deal with the Russian missiles coming in. And this is the S-300 uh, anti-missile system that is Russian built, which Ukraine also has. Clearly, there has been some accident as a result of this defensive uh, positions and the defensive actions and tactics uh, adopted by uh, Ukraine to deal with these incoming Russian missiles. Right. And one of these has landed into Polish territory. And this, of course, diffuses, uh, unfortunate as it is, diffuses a far more serious confrontation. Absolutely. Now, this also uh, follows the last uh, 24 to 48 hours where we have seen renewed attacks uh, and air assaults uh, from the Russian side on Ukraine, which perhaps prompted the kind of reaction that came in from the Ukrainian president this morning, where he said this was nothing but escalation. That also does uh, explain the fact that this could have actually been an activated air defense system of the Ukrainian forces, which uh, was just trying to ward off these uh, further missiles. Well, that appears to have been the case because the, uh, we are told that about 90 missiles were fired by the Russians into Ukraine. Of these, 70 were intercepted and they were intercepted by Ukraine's anti-missile missile systems, principally the S-300, which is Russian built. So while it was clear earlier that the missile that landed in Poland was Russian built, that does not uh, mean necessarily that it was fired by the Russians because Ukraine itself deploys some of these missiles and had deployed them on that date and at that time to uh, defuse and to deal with the Russian missiles coming in. So there seems to have been some form of diversion. It has not been spelt out exactly what happened there and how that happened. But at the very least, we do know now f from the Polish president that this was not the consequence of an attack by Russia into its territory. And that difference is hugely important given the fact that anything other would have been an attack on NATO territory. Right, Sanjay, thank you so much for getting us the latest. Uh, there are no definitive details as such, but it looks like an accident, not an assault, is the latest that we have gathered for you. And that's coming in from the president of Poland. But let's also listen.